Here we go, battle number 19 against Person Thing has a uh, very interesting team as well. Not a lot of Pokemon you see too often. Quite a few Johto Pokemon, and then Aegislash, who's actually really good, and uh, Regirock. So he starts with Regirock, I start with Heatran, decide to go for the Flash Cannon, and he has Weakness Policy, a very interesting item, and in return he paralyzes my Heatran. Uh, not ideal, but I do have Heal Bell Vaporeon. Um, for now, though, I bring in Latios. Not entirely sure why. Maybe expecting an Earthquake or uh, Earth Power. Um, and I figure the Draco Meteor can take out Regirock, so that's what I do. Wondering if Psyshock would have defeated it. Probably not, because Psyshock hits on the defensive side. Brings in for Alligator. Probably expecting to use an Ice move, and I go for Thunderbolt, which luckily does more than half. He Dragon Dances, and I'm still worried about an Ice move. Uh, so I bring in Vaporeon, who I figure can take for Alligator at this point. And it knows Crunch, so that worked out well, but Crunch didn't do that much damage, so he's going to keep dancing, trying to do more damage, and I am going to use Wish, as Vaporeon does, just to set myself up for success. He keeps Dragon Dancing, so that Wish actually probably wasn't the best move to use there. Um, or maybe that's why he Dragon Danced, because he saw the Wish. So it doesn't do that much, but um, I do get the Scald off. Crunch still doesn't do more than half, and I guess I used up all my burn luck on Skull in the last match, but I'm okay with that, because as long as he didn't get a, uh, a defense drop from that crunch, then there was just no way he was going to win this matchup. Um, and I think just to be safe here, do I stay in and defeat him? Yeah, I do, okay. And I take another crunch, and Wish heals me up, and now it's 6-4, to four, so, so far things are going pretty well. Aegislash is paralyzed, but um, I can always heal Bell. And I figure Vaporeon isn't too threatened by Skarmory, so that's exactly what I do. A bell chimed. Now he is still setting up entry hazards. Um, I go for Scald, I guess just to see what it's going to do. And it doesn't do that much, and I figure Skarmory probably has Roosts, so I don't want to stay in here. I could have just gone for the burn, but um, instead I decide to use a Wish, and then switch in uh, Latios to give it some much needed heals. It does take some spike damage, but because Latios has less HP than Vaporeon, it is healed by half of Vaporeon's HP, which means Latios is now back up to full. Uh, I'm pretty positive I have Fable and Vaporeon maxed in HP EVs just because of those wishes. So now I use the default, get rid of those entry hazards, he brings in Aegislash, and I don't want to take the Shadow Ball, so I bring in Heatran. And my Pokemon resists Ghost moves. He goes for Sword Stance, a move I don't have on my Aegislash, but I use Overheat, and despite being in defense mode, Aegislash cannot take that, so that was pretty cool. Now he brings in Entei, and Entei probably can take a minus two overheat pretty well. So I switch to Vaporeon. And I don't know if Entei can learn Wild Charge. I know Arcanine can. Go Arcanine. But um, I think Entei can learn Thunder Fang. Um, either way, he doesn't seem to have it. So he switches to Skarmory. I go for Scald. And I do get the burn that time, so that's pretty nice, I guess. Not that it really mattered too much. Um, I could have just brought in Heatran again, and that's so that's not what I do. I bring in Latias this time, um, figuring I can not only defog, but I can also Thunderbolt this Skarmory. So let's see, do I go for, yep, I go for the defog, get rid of all those entry hazards, he puts up some spikes, but I have to eventually use Thunderbolt, so I think that's what I do here. And spikes isn't too bad because um, if Dragonite comes in, it has it's a flying type, so it won't be affected by spikes, so multi-scale will not be broken. Um, and I use Psyshock here, doing some nice damage against Entei, thanks to the Stab and the Life Orb. He uses Iron Head, which is an interesting move, I guess for Fairy types. Um, I get a crit on the Psyshock, but it really doesn't matter at all. Would have been a knockout regardless. He brings in Typhlosion, and uh, I go for Draco Meteor. He misses it, or he avoids it rather, um, and takes out Latios with Focus Blast of all things, but doesn't really matter at this point, I still have five members of my team left. I bring in Dragonite just to use Outrage, because I don't get the chance to do that often. And it's my favorite move for my favorite Pokemon. Choice Bandit is going to do a lot of damage, and it won a KO's Typhlosion. So, not too tough of a win, but um, there it is, my second to last battle. So thank you guys for watching, and I hope you stay tuned for our final battle of the series.